Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Space Nerd Plays Attack of the B Team! And today, we have a very special episode for you. So, let's get underway. Let's put on my clothes, grab our handy dandy to-do list, and take a look. So, first thing I want to talk about is last episode we mentioned... Um, we talked about putting the tablecloth on the bibliocraft tables down here. And go down. Thank you. So, uh, right here. So we, I tweeted at B-dubs this picture of what you see in front of you. And he actually replied back. Thought it was really cool. And in his last B-team video, he um, mentioned it in the beginning. And mentioned our tweet. I'll put up a screenshot here. of the tweet and the reply. That was really cool of him. So thanks B dubs. Let's thank him in person. Oh he took off his armor. Cool. Thanks buddy. Alright. Um and also today is a very special day. We have hit fifty subscribers. So let me tell you face to face. Thank you guys for subscribing. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the content. Now, it's out of the way, we're gonna make a flying broom. This isn't a witchery episode, we're going to be exploring biomes aplenty. But what better way to explore than on a flying broom? Hi Prince Akeem. It is noisy up in my tower, huh? So what we need to do is make flying ointment. Uh, so we need some water in our kettle. Oh boy, it is noisy. It's very spooky in this witch tower, huh? Alright, so we got our thing here. Alright, so it takes a diamond, potion of a long potion of swiftness, redstone soup, a feather, bowl of bat, and a belladonna flower. Let's throw those thingies in here. Doom. And the white swirlies means good things abound. Yep, we got flying ointment. Now we just toss our broom and our flying ointment. Start the ritual. Start the ritual. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's get our book. Let me make sure I did this right. Circle magic. Uh, right of infusion. Ah, perform at night. That's it. All right, so I think we need uh, a stone axe and a quick line, and it'll make it nighttime for us. Is it nighttime? It's night time! So cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's do that one more time. Let's get our broom. Flying ointment. Do it. Yeah! Yes! Enchanted broom! Let's put this puppy down. Oh man, this thing is way faster than flying. How do you go up? Oh, it just goes where you aim. Oh my god, that's so cool. Let's see. F5 mode. <laughs> Holy. That is awesome. Who would ever think you'd see an astronaut on a broom? Uh, let's do it like this. Oh, this is awesome. So, back to my to-do list. We made a flying broom. And now we're going to fly around on it and visit my top five favorite biomes in Biomes of Plenty. 
So, let's head down. Uh, I think I just hit control to... Yep. Yeah, uh, shift. Shift gets me off. And let's F5. Okay, and pick it up. Gotta smack it a couple times. Very cool. So, let's go ahead and make it daytime. And good morning. Sorry, I didn't feel like snoring today. Just such a bad person. All right. So, I have prepared a special little book for us. Top five biomes. And number five of my top five biomes is the Magic Forest. So if we look at my map, that's up here. So I'm going to make the trek up there in my flying broom. And that's actually a really short flight. So I'll see y'all there. All right. So we are approaching the Magic Forest. Now, I probably butchered the name of it. So... Let's go actually into it and give my broom. Thank you. As hit F3, it's a mystic grove. All right, close enough. But one of the coolest things you'll notice when we leave the biome, look at the horizon. It's just a normal horizon. When we enter it, the world is so magical that the sky changes into this cool purplish hue which is really awesome. And the biome has some awesomely, well, I'm saying awesome too much, has some very cool colored grass here. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit off. And this is one of the features of this area is witches. Uh, you're gonna find lots of coven witches around. And at night, witches naturally spawn here like crazy. So, um, one of the things that this features, or one of the features, are these magic leaves that put out these awesome looking particles from the magic wood and, you know, magic trees in the mystic forest. And they also feature these ja jacaranda. Sounds very romantic. We're going to cut down a jacaranda tree. <laughs> so the mix of these blues and purples and this otherworldly kind of color are really awesome. I really enjoy how this biome looks. And spoiler alert, next episode is going to be a witchery episode. And we're going to change the biome around our witch's hut or tower to a mystic grove um so i did want to show you guys the water oh there seems to be some water here to the south it does also change how water looks oh this is perfect so this is just regular water guys it's nothing special but the water in this biome turns into this purple magical spring oh god so loud Run away from it. But, um, yeah, that's the other really cool thing. So the water around my witch tower is going to look awesome. So that does it for my review of the number five biome on this list. Let's take a look at our number four. Is a combo of volcano and hot springs. Uh, in my world, they are side by side. So I don't know if it's like they come together, but we're gonna head over there. Uh, let's see how far it is. It's a bit of a, a journey, so I'll meet you guys over there. So we are approaching the volcano biome here, and you could see right away what drew my attention is these amazing rocky formations, this ominous sky, that appears as you enter the biome. Lava pools. This is where I fought the wither and I died the first wither fight I had here. Um, and you can see how it's just 
such a cool area. Uh, it's all rocky and just a dangerous place to be, I feel. And what's really awesome about it is the juxtaposition of having this dangerous volcano area, right? And then right by it is this beautiful hot springs. So let's uh, come in for a landing here. Come on, broom. Thank you. So, you know, we're surrounded by these dangerous lava pools and volcanoes. But then you come over here, and there's a sheep with Kyle on his head. And he's dead. <laughs> All right, is this beautiful hot springs area? Yeah, it's still rocky, and you could feel like this is kind of like the volcanic ash that is settled on the ground but it has the really cool thing of these hot springs now if i'm gonna hit e i have only my speed and resistance for my uh what's it called advanced genetics buffs but if we hop in you're gonna see yeah these potion effects on us and it gives us regeneration so we come here recover our health relax now the sad thing about it is uh, I thought, you know, let me grab some of this water, put it into our bathtub at home, right? No go. It's just regular water. Pretty boo. But it does add to the allure of coming here. Um, so I don't think if you just place a water source, it's not biome dependent. Yeah, because this, I just placed water here, and it's not giving me that, and it has a different color. Um, but it seems to be, nope, it's not an infinite spring either. So, that's my number four on my top five favorite biomes. Now, it is a combo, because these are two different biomes, but I feel like they belong together because, you know, one supports the other. Um, in again talking about the witchery mod I'm kind of been on a kick with it um, you could summon a volcano so how cool would it be to summon a volcano here guys might do that in the future who knows leave a comment down below if you would like me to go ahead and do that so let's take a look at our top five biomes book once more so we did these two number three on my top five favorite biomes is the cherry blossom biome and that is a bit of a travel over here to the west so i'm gonna head over there on my enchanted flying broom and i'll meet you guys at the cherry blossom lands here we are on approach to the cherry blossom biome and you could right away see what I'm talking about. Look how beautiful these trees are. Wow. It's just majestic. It's amazing how far games have come, but something as simple as blocks and squares like this could really capture your just your imagination right um so let's go ahead and come in for a landing here and take a look here so it's basically comprised of cherry trees right and there's the pink and the white ones and we'll see it's filled with pink daffodils loud cows and this is pretty much the main draw i think to this is just these fields, this beautiful forest of pink and white trees. Um, there isn't a special sky. There isn't any special watercolor. It's just highlighting this uh, this beautiful landscape with these different colors that you don't really see in trees, um, at least around here. Now I know the in Japan. And in a lot of animes, they have 
you know, these stereotypical uh, cherry blossom gardens. And they do typically feature um, all the petals falling down or the leaves falling down from the trees. And I am a bit disappointed that this, you see the little leaves falling, don't correspond to uh, the leaf color here. That would have made this place a little bit more extra special but it still doesn't take away from the beauty of this place and yeah that's I, I just wanted to mention this place and, and show you guys now this next biome that we're going to talk about is a little bit closer and I'm not going to spoil it with uh, showing you the name of it first I'm just gonna fly there. So I believe it's just to the south here at this dot on my mini map. And wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, go. Come on. There it is. The evil. Go up a little. Wow. Look at the sky turn dark. The water turn crimson, blood red. Pools of lava. Fires that never go out. This is the Deadland. Guys, if you do not have a fire protection pro, a pro ah, potion, don't even bother coming here. Now, I have uh, the gene where I'm immune to fire. So, uh, fire is cool. Just hang out in the fire. Uh, go lay down, roll around, and then, hey, fire. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, right there. Right there. Oh, nice. Could go ahead and go for a dip in the lava. Mmm, warm. <laughs> but how wicked is this island? I need to build something on it, but I don't know what. Of course these palm trees gotta go, right? And get rid of all this sand. We'll leave the stone. But something wicked needs to be built. Um, so it features these... Ooh, itchy itch sorry features these smoldering glass blocks they don't spread to other dirt blocks around I've tested and a whole bunch of ash blocks that give this crazy particles and uh, it just looks like this whole place is on fire the water is red so cool I've bumped into like I'll be exploring a cave and I just bump into like red water. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? But uh, yeah, these are the Deadlands, and this is specifically a Deadland island that I found here. I'm thinking of just trimming out this whole area here. That's good. get that all gone, all the sandy beach area, get rid of it. And I'll just have this one big island with a building on it. We'll definitely summon a volcano here in the middle. Uh, but what should I build there, guys? What would you like to see? Give me some ideas. Love to have some interaction with y'all. So let's take a look. Recap so far. Our number five is a magic forest. Number four, volcano and hot springs. Number three, our cherry blossom. Uh, biome and number two the fiery land or the dead lands. I didn't know the names so our number one favorite biome Can you guys guess what it is? What do you think it would be leave a comment below? And I'll see you at our number one favorite biome All right, we are on approach to our number one favorite biome and this biome's a plenty mod. And I have an honorable mention for you guys, and it is this pasture biome. Now, this is all, every dirt block is covered with barley. So cool. 
So if you're hungry, come on over here. You could take one piece of barley and put it in your crafting window and it becomes barley flour. You could bake that into bread. So one barley, you can make a bread. But now we could see the obvious choice for our number one favorite biome. And that is the Sacred Forest. So let's take a look at our F3. Uh, this is river here. Let's go a little bit further into it. Uh, beach, beach. Oh, it's Sacred Springs. Guys, look at this landscape. Look at these natural gigantic tree formations. Look at that witch down there just hanging out. Happy to be here. Happy to be alive. This is the coolest biome by far. No special watercolor, um, but there is this amazing sky effect that makes it this crystal blue skies, these lush green grass and trees, these giant natural trees that just tower over the landscape. Everything is green and lush and beautiful. These Sacred Springs are really just top notch. And the only reason I haven't built in one, look at this. This could be a painting. I'm taking a screenshot of this. I am taking, why did it get all dark when I did that? Well, I'm gonna keep my hand in a screenshot. Look at this valley. I don't want to build here because it's so beautiful, but I have to get something going here. I want to build in every freaking biome. This biome's a plenty. Really is kind of like the man behind the curtain, sort of like the the unsung hero, I'd say, of this mod pack. Really cool. So that's it for my top five biomes. But we're not done with this episode yet. We got one last thing to do. And we're going to visit the Promised Lands. Now, I've been showing you this in my knapsack here forever. And we're finally going to use it. That's the Ancient Staff. And if you want to go ahead and craft it, you're going to have to do some traveling. And go around to all the different biomes, collect different gems. And create I'll kill a wither and then create yourself a ancient staff now when we use this on the ground it's going to create a portal up in the sky and we don't want to take away from our beautiful enterprise here so I think this is where it needs to be what do you think guys right here on top of our little hatch to uh, you know our emergency exit and entrance into our base this is our spawn point uh, that's gonna have to be it so we're gonna do it let's go up 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 that's a lot quite a fall so we got all right this two blocks and then this one and two blocks this is the block so let's grab our ancient staff. I've been waiting so long to do this, I'm excited. And let's do it. A gateway to the promised land has appeared in the sky above. <gasps> Look how cool. So now I have a depleted ancient staff. Um, you could put another nether star into it and it will become re-powered, I guess you could say. And up we go. Look how beautiful it has the ivy growing down the sides. Look how cool for this floating island. And up top. <gasps> oh, awesome, like a quartz gazebo. Look how amazing this is. And there is our promised land portal. Oh man, I'm so excited. Let's go and let's hop in. Now, warning, I've heard this place is really laggy. So, 
Uh, that's uh, just giving you a warning. Oh man, don't break. It's I'm at 90 FPS, but nothing's happening. Downloading terrain. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh yeah, we're here, and we got an achievement. Moving on up. Oh, 20 frames. Everything is loading in, kind of slowly. But let's let's set it go. Okay, yeah. Uh, the roof is kind of missing here. This is kind of painful. I'm gonna cut the recording here, let everything load, maybe restart my client, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, things seem to be stabilized. I'm heading. I'm staying at a steady 40 to 50 FPS not recording. Of course, while I'm recording, I lock it on 30. So, let's jump down. Cool, look at this grass. I want purified dirt. Skystone. Ooh, this is what we're after though. This, oh, lag, oh. Like, this is what we want, the Amphiest. Now, I do want to break that with Zippy, actually. I'm going to leave the Silk Touch out, and oh, this lag is bad. Alright, Zippy. Good. Alright, so I got three Amphiest out of one. Oh, cool, look at these pixies. Let's kill him. Come here, Pixie. Uh, so laggy. Oh, got it. I'm morphing. I'm a Pixie. <laughs> I feel like, uh, oh my God, what's her name? Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Laggy. Lag. Frame, stop! Alright, so Jenny said if the lag gets really bad, you could do a slash CO. Ooh, look at this mossy sky stone. So cool. Let's get some amphiest. Oh, look at these trees. Loftwood. Let's cut down a tree. Oh, we're gonna have to plant some of these around in the sacred forest. When we build there. So. I give this biome. If it did not have any. Dang lag. A 10 out of 10 here. But this lag is. Oh unbearable. Alright we got some loft wood. Ooh cool magic leaves. Magic trees grow here. Like these pixies are awesome. But there's too many. Too many entities lagging the game. Let's do this slash C O F H kill all pixie. There we go. Killed over 3,000 freaking pixies. And look at my oh, frames are at 50, 60. So I'm gonna have to do that from time to time here. I hope they respawn though. Oh, yeah, there they go. Oh, Jesus. So let's go ahead. Let's collect me some Amphius. We already got eight here. I'm only getting one up per block at those last couple. And here we go. So I'm looking for the special. There's like special water here, right? That makes you all happy. I guess you have to find it. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. So let's explore a little more. Ooh, there was that celestial stone we want to grab. I don't think we need a shovel. This is like glowstone, but more magical. And it falls into the void. That's no good. No good at all. Where's the magic spring? 
that makes you happy. This isn't it. That's just water. Oh, the lag again. Whew. Yeah, this has got to be tough to watch. So, I'm going to end the episode here. And I would like to thank you all again for helping me reach that 50 subscriber milestone. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the videos. And there will be many, many more to come. So, stay tuned. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.